I started playing guitar when I was nine. I was pretty competitive in elementary school for sure. So I played basketball, but there was a, the one kid who was a star basketball player, who was way better than me. It's like, all right, I'll try drawing. So I tried drawing, and there's the one kid who's just amazing. All right, that guy's better than me. I'll try something else, try acting. And, you know, and that kept going on. And then I realized at one point that no one played guitar. So I, I think I saw that movie School of Rock, and that kind of inspired me to pick up a guitar for the first time. No one else was playing guitar, so I was like, all right, I have, you know, I can, I can try and master my own craft here. And then I, I, it just stuck with me over time. My brother had a guitar when I was like 12 or 13, and he kind of taught me how to play like a cool thing that me and my brother both kind of like had in common. I was in like sixth or seventh grade or something, and we wanted to start a band, and three of us all played guitar, and so we had a day where we were like, all right, well, whoever's worse, like, has to play the <laughs> bass, you know? And so there was one kid, uh, I think his name was like Christian or something. In all honesty, I was probably a little bit better than him, but he was being a little baby, and so, <laughs> like, all right, dude, I have a bass, I'll play bass. This guitar is a very happy accident where a family friend um, is actually the guitar tech for a long time of Ben Harper. So this is his signature model and one day he was over at my house and he kind of just walked into my like music studio. I was in there and he, you want a guitar? And I was like, what? He's like, I have this guitar that I don't really play and if you want to teach me to play guitar, you know, you're free to use this. So th this was very recently actually and I've been playing a bunch on it and I've just started writing songs on it. I usually tend to write songs on the electric guitar but um, I've been trying to, you know, just for the sake of diversity and perspective and all things like that, this has been a really, uh, it's been really nice to kind of get to know. I feel like, especially with acoustic guitars, you kind of have a different relationship than you do with the electric guitar because I'm not playing this one on stage. It's usually in a more personal uh, setting. This was a song that kind of got pieced together throughout like the better part of a year, I would say. I was trying out this new guitar and the first thing I kind of did on it was... And I immediately liked that, but I didn't know where to go from there. So I was like, all right, cool, put it down, and kind of just walked away. That was my day's work, whatever. <laughs> and then came back and started, you know, kind of did this sort of like Sunday Bloody Sunday sounding thing. And then, you know, we kind of shied away from that eventually, but I liked those chord ideas and stuff like that. And that kind of, you know, I started going... I've been trying to keep my and the verse sort of just came from like scatting, which some of the songs come from, just sort of scatting, and then words kind of started to pop in. We came up with this rhythm that in the chorus, it's the. Um, so I'm going. We were doing like the same rhythm, and I just kind of had like. He had these notes that went over it and like went really nicely. Because the guitars are so. It's so staccato a lot of the times with the. So we wanted this bridge to be a nice moment to kind of just cool cool off from all of that and we came up with like a one, two, three, four. And it's kind of just nice and it sort of just floats by and then it goes right back into the right after that. I remember when we heard the uh, the first recording session we ever did in the studio, that song came back and I remember always thinking, I really like that one. You know, it kind of stood out to me immediately. I've been trying to keep my grip. Yeah, I think I'm over this. I can hear it now. Oh no. Oh no. We think it's very important that the song, you can hear the, the record and it sounds great or whatever. Um, if you like it. And you can also sit down at a piano and play the chords and sing it and it still sounds like a good song. That's what we're trying to do with all of our songs. So I think this is a this is an example where we kind of just really let this one be about the chords and kind of lets the melodies and that shine through more than the instrumentation would in the in the recorded version. But I still think it comes across pretty nice. And I, I think that's I, I think uh, people should try and write songs that way. My Cardi
maniac erase High voltage in the lips I'll try my best How much do I amaze Like cardiac arrest High voltage when we kiss One thing we try to utilize in our songs is um, space and not having everything so clogged because I think we had all come from bands where the sound was so clogged by just everything big cymbals and yeah. loud guitars and this was especially this song too I feel like is really the kind of like vocal and like you know the verse is essentially just like toot toot ka, toot, toot, ka, with like but that space guitar. felt really nice to us especially yeah. because it was a new thing for us to kind of try and we wanted to just we wanted to all write parts that sort of helped bring out the song as opposed to try and go over the song, which is I think the way that we had been doing things in our previous bands. Especially since we were both in like kind of like punk bands before, a lot of like big chords and stuff and like, I don't know, it just kind of felt refreshing to like let the song be kind of simple and every part kind of like has its own little place, you know, it's not like try I'm trying to solo over like the chorus or anything, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 like 